Hey everyone, uh, we're going to keep going on costing, but before I dive into it, I want to mention again the manufacturing training we're doing in three weeks. Uh, it's online, so just go and click on the link underneath if you're interested. Um, it's going to be loads of fun. You're going to deep dive into manufacturing, know everything about manufacturing in Business Central in three days. And it's online, so you can be anywhere in the world if you want to sign up. But anyways, we're going to get into costing. We're going to talk about uh, specific costing so we're going to create a specific coffee mug uh, an item and uh, so what is how is specific costing why is it different it's pretty interesting um, if you enable item tracking on the item which means that you either are using serial numbers or lot numbers so you're either serializing your item or you're lot tracking your item. Then you can use specific costing. You cannot put specific costing unless you have item tracking set on the item. So once it's set, <coughs> you have a transaction. Let's say you've got a purchase. And let's say it's serial numbers. And the serial number for, let's say that's quantity one. Uh, I'll do it like this. One and serial number A, B, zero one and cost whatever five dollars when you sell the item you specify the serial number in the sale because you sell a particular serial number to the customer you can scan the serial number or whatever however you do it and when you sell that serial number it takes the cost from that serial number so that's why it's specific it is exactly what you bought it at. It, you cannot get more accurate with costing than this, but the overhead of course is, you gotta say one to one. I bought this particular serial number, now I'm gonna sell that particular serial number, which is a lot of overhead if you had to scan everything by serials. It works in some cases where everything is serialized. However, like with lots, lots is the new ones of this. Now I'm gonna show you the serial in the screen share and maybe we'll take another video on the lot. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the specific coffee mug. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say new, um, name it spe specific um, coffee mug. And if I actually put the costing method here to specific, I get an error. And the error is that it wants a tracking code before you actually put it to specific, which makes sense. So let's just go ahead and revert this. Uh, go down to tracking, and I'm going to just make this a serialized um, item. So it's serialized for all. And now I can go ahead and say specific. And now the system is happy. So what is going on here? If I if I go into a purchase order um, and buy this item, I'm going to be asked to uh, specify a serial number for the item <coughs> since it's serialized. Here I'm just putting the invoice number right here. So specific coffee mug. And I'm just going to buy one because I have to put in a serial number for each one. Save me the trouble, say it's $10. Actually, let's, let's do two. Um, and I'll go here into line, item tracking lines to put in the serial number. And I'll put serial number uh, AB and AB like that. And the quantity is one, uh, one and one. So with serial numbers, we can only have quantity one for each serial number. So each each piece is serialized, basically. So I go ahead and say close and hit posting post. Okay. Um, so <coughs> I want to open the post of the invoice. No, 
So if we go into the item now, specific uh, coffee mug, and take a look at the costing for this. So I'm just going to go into the ledger entries. I can see that we get a transaction for each serial number. So if you have an item that has lots of serial numbers, there's going to be lots of item ledger entries here. But anyways, that's that's an aspect of serial numbers. The other aspect of the costing method being specific is that when I actually sell a particular serial number in here, the cost will come from that serial number itself. So if I go ahead and <clears throat> do a sales order, uh, so it's pretty simple. It's just the cost of that particular serial number as it came in. Create a new serial number. I mean, create a new sales order and to the Datum Corporation. Um, do a specific coffee mug from Maine. And let's say I'm selling one. So the cost is 10. Obviously, that comes straight from the unit cost on the uh, card. However, the actual cost comes from um, uh, item tracking lines when I pick the serial number. And this serial number has a cost as it came in on the purchase order, and it's that exact cost that's coming in to this sales order. So that's why it's called specific. It's specifically placed on the serial number for that item.